FW. I haven't seen so much excitement. I've been here for 13 years. Top Shelf, you've been here, of course, your whole life. Yep. It feels, you know, we had great, you know, we had the Matt Hasselbeck era, of course, mm-hmm. Jim Zorn, all those great guys. But it just feels like it's an electric feeling. Everyone is so stoked about just what you guys bring to the table. And I think it's a combination of all the great personalities and fun. And the real Rob Report shows that. Mm -hmm. I mean, even when we lost, to be able to watch you guys on the plane and how you guys were so stoked about how the fans were greeting you after the loss to Atlanta, um, there's a, that access has really, I think, made me feel closer to the team and more excited about any team I've ever loved. Yeah, I I totally agree. And I I think uh, there is. I think the group we put together, we all really care about each other we all have fun um we love our fans um they love us and uh it really it works well and i think the cool thing about the real rob report is like people get to see like you lose your mind a little bit in the locker room like it's kind of like cabin fever especially when you're getting towards week 14 yeah so the stuff you can hear and say is just it's so (laughs) noteworthy it really is because it's absolutely ridiculous i still think one of my favorite moments on that show is you just started dancing and uh the giacomini gets on top of like the bench and just starts making it rain with water spraying you and then you just go yeah the two of us should not be here or something like that (laughs) it it was along those lines yeah yeah Yeah, you you know you know it's epic when you just hear like sort of like what uh, you know that's all you hear coming out of rob's mouth while he's holding the camera because he can't believe what he's seeing yeah yeah it's like i said you go nuts in the locker room and uh guys will let guys will say a lot of things you got practice coming up you're stressed and sometimes you just got a vent and when there's a camera right there you're like well this is the perfect outlet this is it <laughs> yeah. this is where the words of wisdom fly yeah exactly and sometimes though that, that that some of the greatest stuff does come from those moments where you're not really thinking and yeah. and you've had some awesome moments I don't, well actually i just no you're I right on that man wrong. I, maybe that no. was the best way to say it you're right on you know me better than everyone <laughs> trust me <laughs> it was an out of body experience. So. <laughs> All right, I want to run one of the things. Again, The Real Rob Report. Search for it on YouTube. It's really great. If you are a Seahawks fan, uh, you know, and it's not about crunching numbers or anything else like that, which, you know, sometimes, you know, I mean, I, I know you guys sometimes go, really? I mean, it has to be done. You do a lot of interviews, but mm-hmm. I think what's really fun, we all watch the game on the field and I, I, here's what I am. Please catch the ball. Please stop the other team from moving the ball. That's all I care. That's the yeah. stats I care about. Yeah. Just win yeah. and let's have fun. So that's what I love about The Real Rob Report. It's more about, hey, man, you know, uh, we get to know you guys. You get to have a lot of fun. And on uh, a recent episode, uh, Falcons wide receiver Roddy White was interviewed. Uh, And, uh, well, of course, you know, uh, Rob doesn't pull any punches, so he brings up the best guy in the league, (laughs) Richard Sherman. And here was Roddy's points about that. Best cornerback in the league. Well, right now he hurt. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. You know, Darrell right now is, is the best corner in the league. You, you know? ain't going to give my boy no love? I can't give him no love. <laughs> Why not? I mean, he, 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 he the, the, the numbers do speak for themselves. I mean, you can't say this man ain't had a good ain't have a good past two years. I mean, I didn't. I mean, we went down to Seattle two years ago, and he wasn't even on the field when we was out there. So it's kind of hard for me to just put him, throw him in the best cornerback, you know, situation. You, you know, seen him on film, though. That's the thing, though. I watch him on film. And he don't jump off. It's, it's nothing that jumps off about him, oh, you know, man. that I'd be like, oh, I'm going to lose sleep, you know, getting ready for this guy. He's a good player, you know what I'm saying? But he's not somebody that I wake up and be like, I got to run some extra routes, so I got to do some extra things, wow. that, you know, to get ready to play against him, you know. Whew. Uh, okay. I, I got to say, first oh. off, I am, okay. I am the biggest fan of Richard Sherman. I endorse everything he does. And that, people just can't take that Sherman talks and then backs it up so consistently. That's the truth. And he's charming. You know, that's the thing. Love Sherman. Yeah, for a, for a smash talker like he is, but he's got a little wink in his eye. Yep. He's got a little smile on his face. And people do not like that. Because when do you ever really love a smack, a smack talker? But he knows how to do it. Stanford. And he back, like you said, he backs it up. Stanford. Stanford guy. Yeah. He's brilliant. He, yeah. If he was a wrestler, he'd be an awesome heel. Like, you guys would be oh, a great yeah. tag team. The yeah. two of you just, just I would love beaten, to do that. Right? Go down to WWE and Hell just yeah. take on someone. That's a great idea. I'd love that. I but mean, I got to take my shirt off, and that's not going to be good. You yeah, know? but no, back in the day, wrestlers used to have guys that had your physique. Why do we have to lose that? Can we get the spandex top with the... T- and it's just kind of tight. <laughs> oh, the old the school, yeah. And then yeah. when you're pissed, you take 
take one of the straps <laughs> off, uh, and then you're ready to awesome. throw down. <laughs> yeah. exactly. That's when we know Moffitt's mad. I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, I'm ready. Man. His strap's coming oh. off. You know, the one thing about you, because you, you, you say you don't do a lot of thinking when you do these, but I never heard you go down the road of Mr. White. Now, granted, he's a wide receiver. Mm-hmm. All right, they're supposed to hate to see. I get it. They're supposed yeah. to hate the cornerback. All right, yeah. fine. But still, all right. I mean, you want to, all right. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I, you just never win that war with a guy like Sherman. I wouldn't start. No, neither would I. He, does, he doesn't care. I'm, I won't be surprised when we play Atlanta next year. That'll be the first thing he talks about. That'll be great. It'll be great. What were yeah. you, I'm sure you watched that episode where him when he went off on Skip Bayless. And you must have been like, when when he just out and out just goes, I'm better at life than you. I I couldn't stop laughing. (laughs) He he really digressed there. He he took it back. He made all these brilliant points and then just gave the fourth fourth grade, like, schoolyard, I'm better than you. Dude, it was great, though. And I I said this on here. Please pass it along when you see him. He beat Bayless at his own game. Mm -hmm. You know, I got to tell you something. And I'm in this business. You cannot let someone who's not in your business full time, Malcolm Gladwell, 10,000 hour style, you can't. <laughs> let someone come beat you with your own game. No. I'm looking at Bayless going, dude, you got schooled by a guy who isn't doing this for a living. Yeah. You know, if you're on the football field and you got to try to catch a pass and Sherman schools you, well, of course, he's the guy. Yeah, yeah. But you're the broadcaster. How did you just get your ass handed to you by a guy who's not in the business? <laughs> it's it, it, That's the embarrassing thing. I would be like, okay, i got to tell you, I, I got schooled. <laughs> he's brilliant, man. And you know what? Skip Bayless is about time because that guy has talked so much yeah. junk about so many players. Yeah. And players are so handcuffed. You know, you God forbid you say anything, but Skip Bayless can come out and say whatever he wants. So it was refreshing to see Sherman, you know, say something to the... Yeah, well, you got to be able to handle yourself in a fight. See, it's one thing if you can just yap and flap like Bayless, but yeah. no one ever comes at you. Yeah. But a guy like me goes, someday someone's going to have a counterpoint. i got to be ready. Yeah. Bayless was not. No, he was not. And, I mean, I, I, I got a lot of love for Richard Sherman because he just exposed to me a guy who's a bit of a fraud. And I'll say it in my business because I, uh, I have it backed up. Bayless looked like a fool. Yeah. He looked like a fool. And how you look like a fool being a professional broadcaster, wow, that you, you don't do any work. You don't school. You don't discipline. And you guys work your asses off. So when you're facing a guy that doesn't, and yeah. you can tell, I bet I bet Sherman was like, Richard was like, you don't, you're, you're kind of coasting, aren't you, sir? You probably don't do a lot of discipline stuff you, anymore. You know, knowing Sherman, I think he probably came in with just a little bit of an agenda. Maybe. And, uh, <laughs> and, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was all very, very planned out and thought out by Richard. And then he just went with it and That's freestyled awesome. like he does. So. Good for him, man. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 KISW.